and welcome to the final part of the Electrostar project videos and this is going to be all about the completion of the Electrostar. Now I know at the moment in front of you I have the Electrostar without any livery, decals and that will appear towards the end of the video as a completion but I thought I'd do a minor segment at the start of this video which shows the work of the underframe boxes and equipment which have been added to each of the cars and also I've added the smaller detail to the front which is the coupling. So taking a closer view at the Electrostar front coach and the underframe equipment boxes have been added and these have been kindly supplied by James Mackin for a small fee and he is the same chap as you know who did the Electrostar cabs and created his Southern and First Capital Connect Electrostars and I've painted them up uh, in a sort of primer colour and then I've just weathered them over the top to give them that sort of dirty look underneath. The only other thing to add as I said before is I have taken the downer couplings which were on the southeastern networker and as you may have recalled from previous videos I have converted the networker and added a coupling on the front of it so it can couple up to another networker to create the four car and by doing this it uh, obviously released two of the couplings on the front of the networker which I have reused on the Electrostar as seen in front of you. So the next thing I'm going to go away and complete is the decals. And I've added all the decals to it which have been all the numbers, the Southeastern logo and also the name for the train which is the Medway Valley Line and the number is 375304 so I've added all those onto the train. Other little details I've had to add with the decals as well is also the disabled door which I will take you down to have a look at now. Okay so in this view this is the centre coach and on the far left is the disabled door with the uh, blue markings above the door and the disabled badges just underneath the windows of the door and on the far right you can also see the nameplate on the train. What I'll do now is I'll um, put a few pictures up in this video because this camera doesn't really focus in on the train very well so I'll put some pictures up now in the video and then I'll also add a short running session to the end of this video also. So thanks very much for watching and enjoy the uh, pictures and the running session.